What's up guys, Aver here bringing you another Black Ops 3 pros and cons series and this one is going to be part of the Shadows of Evil edition. We are going over the pros and cons for the Civil Protector. Now one thing I want you guys to keep in mind, at the end of the video comment down below the pros and cons that you think are for the Shadows of Evil sword upgraded. Now I will feature at the end of the video in that series. But anyway, let's start off with the pros for the Civil Protector. The first pro is that the Civil Protector can kill a Margwa in one hit upon its landing. So if you have a Margwa around the Civil Protector's landing area, which there is a circular ring on the ground when you call it in, when it lands it will instantly kill the Margwa, which is very beneficial when you're on high rounds or just trying to get rid of them quickly. The next pro is when you're playing solo, that if you have Quick Revive, the Civil Protector can revive you when you're down and the only perk that you'll keep when you're revived is the quick revive perk. It will not use up your perk machine drink, so as long as the civil protector is out, you'll have unlimited quick revives, so that is one huge plus for high rounds. Now moving on to the next one, the KN44 of the civil protector can easily one-shot a Margwa's face, but sometimes the hitbox is in the air and the civil protector is shooting randomly. And it's just not that great at that point, but it is very powerful against Margwas along with killing zombies. It does kill zombies in one bullet and it can get collateral damage, but the bit, the best part is, is when it steals your points, but that's more of a cons if anything. It does conserve your ammo and gets you through rounds pretty quickly, so that's another pro for that. Along with, it does provide you with cover if you're trying to get a shield or pack a punch or get perks. So it is a little nice little big brother type of bird or not bird. What is it? A little bird in um, MW2. So and also the cooldown for activating the Civil Protector is just once he dies out, you could go buy another one. It's not round based, so as long as you have 2,000 points, you could purchase the Civil Protector as much as you want. Now moving on to the cons. It can mess up your trains as he does get in the way or di I guess disperse your entire train of zombies if he decides to fly in there and you may go down from it. Also, this is a myth I believe but I'm going to put it in here because a lot of people say he can kill you while firing. It's never happened to me nor have I seen it happen but this is what people have been telling me and I, I guess that's just, um, that's just how it goes. So, and also it does pick up drops at the end of round, or just drops, and it does end rounds if you don't want it to. So you have to be very, I guess, uh, strategic when calling in your Civil Protector. As you can see in the gameplay, the Civil Protector literally just walked backwards straight into the drop. And, I mean, it was an insta-kill, but that's good. But if it's a nuke and you're trying to just, I don't know, save some zombies, get some more points to buy the Civil Protector again, it's really not that great. So there are a few downsides of him. But the last con that we have is that basically the Civil Protector will revive a teammate and then it will cancel out your Phoenix up. So say your player goes down and you want to use your phoenix up to revive him to get all his perks back if the civil protector is reviving that teammate the player will be revived by that teammate and not the phoenix up so that means you wasted a phoenix up along with that player doesn't even get his perks back so it's just it's just not that great but a bonus con is he literally plays on one sensitivity i don't know why i made it a he i don't know why i think it's a person but he turns around the slightest bit and it just takes forever so that's why he's not that quick but that's also another reason why it's very balanced so i hope you guys did enjoy this pros and cons video i'm gonna do a lot more uh there's a playlist in the description about all the other pros and cons for zetsubo no shima der Eisendrak, and shadows of evil so if you'd see one of the items that you want for pros and cons not on that list definitely post down below along with your pros and cons list for the upgraded sword on Shadows of Evil. Now, I'm Avery, and I'm out.